What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're gonna check out Jim Cornette on Jack Perry appearing for the first time since Wembley at a New Japan show. Now, I've been waiting to see what Jim Cornette has to say about uh, Jack Perry showing up in New Japan. Uh, I did see the clip and I was very interested to see what he had to say because when you really think about it, we actually have to think Jack Perry for this whole situation with CM Punk because if Jack Perry doesn't do what he do at uh, at the Wembley uh, Wembley show CM Punk would stop probably still be in AEW but because Jack Perry got into it with CM Punk that's how we ended up with CM Punk back in WWE so we really got to thank him he is really the facilitator for all of this so I, I definitely want to see what he has to say about that Appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on channel. I already know Jim's about to be a complete asshole. This is going to be funny, bro. Let's get into it. People that were banned off of television. I got to talk about this before we get into the television shows that should have been banned this week. Um, as Mama Cornette used to say, like a bad penny, he turned up. <laughs> the person who has not been seen since instigating the fiasco that when history is written will have led to the direct downfall of Tony Khan and his collection <laughs> of action figures. Jungle Jack has turned up again, has shown his face out in public, such as it is, and basically it debuted in a surprise attack. Mm -hmm. So shocking, a guy in a mask and dressed in black comes over the rail. Never seen that before. Yeah. <laughs> For New Japan Pro Wrestling. Mm -hmm. Brian, you you guys over in the wrestling news department and you're shutting up and wrestling program. You're covering this, <clears throat> this fluid situation, aren't you? What do we know about the uh the reemergence of Jungle Jack off? <laughs> well, there was so much going on that night. That's called, called him Jungle Jack off, bro. That's so cool. <laughs> when I saw the clip, I was like, oh, okay. That's cool. He had the AEW contract and he ripped it up. I was like, all right, all right, man. Do your thing, bro. <laughs> too, they were, there was a TNA pay per view, there was collision, there was Battle mm -hmm. of the Belts. And then there's this, then there's other things. And then there's this New Japan show, which was in the United States, and and Jack Perry shows up, you know, which I don't think was. I mean, I certainly did not see this coming. I don't yeah. know if maybe I, it was just because I was down with the flu and I didn't have my finger on the pulse as I normally do. You, you were down with the sickness. Yes, exactly, something like that. But I think that when he. I mean, the minute that he showed up and tore up the AEW contract in the ring with the giant AEW logo on it, I just, I just remember seeing everybody on, that, right? Every, Megan, do you think that Megan and all the staff that would have been in charge when he signed his contract, do you think they had all their contracts drawn up with a four inch tall AEW logo on the top of the front page? I think that's, that's standard, standard business, isn't it? Yeah, that's standard for the industry, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> but other people were saying, well, if it was that easy to do, I mean, God, think about all the other people that would just tear the contract up and just, <laughs> and just, that's it. Okay. I can go back now, you know, but I think, it, I mean, part of me was thinking, I mean, clearly it's a, it's a work obviously because you've got new Japan working with all elite wrestling and all that mm -hmm. stuff. But part of me was thinking, well, you know, if, if it had been a real situation, um, it wouldn't have been that he got out of his contract because he physically tore up the paper in the yeah. ring. It could have been that maybe the company had released him mm -hmm. for, you know, whatever well, reason. I mean, God knows they had reasons. And then he was doing this performative act as mm -hmm. a way of uh, kind of like showing the world that he was done with the company. I don't know. That's, that's what I was thinking. I was like, maybe they ended up releasing him after everything that went down and they released him. And that's just his way of like, kind of like, showing his defiance to the company like yeah i don't really need AEW anyway that's that's what i was thinking i'm not sure if he's still under contract with AEW, but we haven't seen him since that incident so i don't know no. he's a rebel too brian he's a rebel and he'll never be any good 
He's a rebel and he'll never do what he should. Cause he wears leather and has long stringy hair and a famous dad. But nevertheless, <laughs> it, it that's the tearing up of the contract, of course, is symbolic to yeah. the to the demented minds that are following this and New Japan's uh, half-empty American building, wherever it may have been or whatever. <laughs> and then also, you didn't mention, he also had a black armband with white <clears throat> writing scapegoat. Right. Yeah. So he's yeah. clearly, he's clearly designed to play the victim in this melodrama. Yeah. And I did see that. <laughs> and otherwise, he's grown his beard out. Is he trying to look like an adult now? I, you, know, <laughs> That's... you know, the first time that fucking Jack Perry <laughs> had to shave. Oh my God. He was he was so excited he could hardly he could hardly contain himself because wow. he was in fucking a senior year of high school. But the he's grown his scraggly beard out, and he's wearing, I don't know, was he dressed like Fidel Castro? Is his new gimmick Homeless Jack? And he, because of his... God, this thing a Homeless Jack. I knew this was going to be funny. <laughs> I knew this was going to be funny, bro. Stick it. Homeless Jack is cold bloody, bro. Being suspended since the first of September, he's been living in a cardboard box <laughs> under an overpass. Is that, or did he go back to the jungle and now he's communing with the apes? I've heard that a, a human being, if done right, can commune with an ape. Uh, I think Jane Goodall communed for oh. years, didn't she? Oh, I mean, but nevertheless, I, yeah. it, 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 so what is his gimmick? <laughs> He's a homeless bum <laughs> that came over the fucking rail and beat the shit out of some guy in New Japan oh my and tore God. up his contract. No, I don't think Tony has released him because oh my God. Tony never releases anybody. I'm sure <laughs> this guy sabotaged <laughs> their biggest show ever. <laughs> and fucking directly led to Tony having to fire his biggest star ever, which gave the WWE one of their biggest stars in years ever. And so he sent him home, but he's still been paying him. Right. That's nope. the crazy thing. The thing about Tony Khan, he will send you home and pay you just to be at home, just to not go to the competition. That's how deep his pockets run. Pay me to sit at home. I would love it. <laughs> I mean, technically I am doing that, but I'm, I'm working over here. I'm not just sitting around, laying down, getting free checks. You know what I'm saying? I'm actually working out here, y'all. <laughs> Nobody said anything about it. you're suspended without pay because oh. then oh my old God. Jungle Jack Off would have been suing. Yep. Because after some point in time, you need to shit or get off the pot. But Tony never does that. He, every time somebody fucks up, <clears throat> he sends them home and sends them their check not to fucking be around him. Yeah. So he has to confront it. So now after four full months, he, maybe Tony say, you know what? I'm still mad at you. Are you looking? Because look at all this shit that he directly caused. The Jungle <laughs> Jack directly caused <laughs> to be said. Mm -hmm. The domino effect of, of their business. All these, all this embarrassment. <clears throat> so Tony's probably said, well, you go wrestle for New Japan. And he's still paying him. Yeah. I'm sure somebody proved me wrong, and I'll admit it right here on the air in front of that's a possibility. Jungle Jack and everybody. But until then, I'm sure Tony Khan is paying this fucking asshole that sabotaged his business, <laughs> tried to on more than one occasion, finally did, mm -hmm. and now he's saying, "Well, go wrestle for New Japan," because <clears throat> you know, yeah, that way I don't have to deal with this. And you know, that's. <laughs> And again, he's gonna act like he's the scapegoat to all these fucking smart marks with their heads stuck up their ass. Yeah. That's my assessment of oh Jungle Jack Perry's debut for New Japan. So he can be over there <laughs> with these similar minded individuals doing mindless gymnastics and dumb shit <laughs> and let the guy that was fired from the goddamn Toledo Mud Hens because of him go on to fucking be the star hitter for the new york yankees i'm sorry brian last the mets wait a minute it's brian solomon now listen the
The no, people... I sent that to Brian last, who you know is going to listen to this. Oh, yes, true. I was going to say, people are confused enough as it is. got to make sure you keep the name straight. But... <laughs> well, yeah. you, should, you know, did you speak to your mother about giving you somebody else's name? <laughs> and by the way, I, I grew up a Mets fan, too, so that's why I thought maybe you might have been. I mean, it could have worked both ways. My grandfather converted me into a Yankees fan, but, you know, I grew up a Mets fan. Well, it's still baseball. <laughs> it is, yeah. and, and that's, and that's something that that's something that Jungle Jack oh. better remember. It's still goddamn baseball. Yeah, and I think you know, for a split second, when I saw him pop up and I saw people talking about it, for a split second, I I didn't think he'd been released because, like you said, I don't think anybody gets fired over there. But for a second, I, I thought he'd been arrested. Well, I thought maybe it's possible. I was thinking that maybe he had walked out voluntarily. Maybe he had said, you know what? Maybe he had felt the pressure of all of this, all of this that he had wrought, and he you know, felt, <laughs> felt bad about it or felt uh, kind of responsible and just, uh, and just took his ball and went home kind of a thing. I thought for a moment, but then when he took out two things, when he took out the giant contract, and then also knowing that it was New Japan, that you know that the two companies work together, if it had mm -hmm. been some completely random... Although, I mean, I shouldn't say that because they have AEW wrestlers popping up in completely random indies all the time. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, very quickly it became they apparent. They have completely random indies popping up all the time on AEW television. Yeah. It works both ways. Mm -hmm. There you go. <laughs> but never let, you know, and so the point is also, I guess now he's he's roughened up around the edges. He's got the beard. He's got the hair. He's got the frumpy clothes and yes. the <laughs> grubby attire, and that's going to show that he's tough. He's a jungle he's man. That's he's, what he is. <laughs> well, not only that, but because he's been made the scapegoat. Uh, scapegoat. <laughs> so <old> scapegoat. <laughs> because he's been made the scapegoat, I'm sure that that has hardened him mentally and put him through all kinds <clears throat> of stress and agony. And you can tell, but he hasn't had a good night's sleep, Brian. Hadn't no. had a good night's sleep in probably weeks and weeks and weeks I think because they're going of all to the, the yeah. worry and the frustration over this, <laughs> over where his next check was coming from. Wait a minute. He knew. He knew it was going to come every week in his mailbox. <laughs> but I guarantee you he hadn't been sleeping good. And you know, here's why. Because he doesn't <laughs> listen to our program. That's obvious or he would have learned something. <laughs> And he doesn't know to go to the people at Helix Mattress. No, it was funny. He's like, wait, it was getting delivered to his mailbox every fucking week. He knew he was getting a check. That's the crazy thing about Tony Khan. He will pay you to sit at home. If he don't want you on the show, he's not going to fire you. He's going to pay you to sit at home to do nothing. <laughs> that's fucking that's a gracious boss if i've ever seen one comment down below let me know how y'all felt about um <laughs> jack perry uh showing up at the uh the new japan show and ripping up the aew contract how do y'all felt about his return back to wrestling did y'all care about it did you not care about it let me know how y'all felt down below but i appreciate all the love and support you guys showing on the channel Road to 150k, and I'm still your unspeedy YouTube wrestling champion of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking in with me. See y'all next one. Peace.